Hi, welcome back to Trade One. So we're with the load of the litter. Um, and now we've got the grooming table out there a little bit bigger and you, you can't do what I did <laughs> forever with them on your knee. That was just the introduction. Um, as they get bigger, you're going to be using a table. But I'm going to start with the boy here. Oh yeah, yeah. come on up again. So we're up on the table. Oh, hey, hey, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, so, we saw the nail cutting. Um, the other week, there's something we do, there's something you're going to have to do. Um, I tend to find it's easier to cut the nails, especially if it's a wet day or something like that, where they're a little bit soft. Um, because then they're, instead of really hard nails, they're a little bit soft, a little bit more malleable. Um, <clears throat> one of those things. But uh, when it comes to grooming, it's something I would suggest uh, once a day, you've taken your puppy out once a day, five minutes. Just spend five minutes. Brushing the dog. Yeah. Um, this gets him used to being handy, whether you're going to show or not. Yeah. Everybody has to go to the vet with their dog at some point. He gets him used to being on the vet's table. Yeah. You have the relationship, you're building up that relationship. It gives you the opportunity to check the teeth. Oh, lovely teethings, which is what judges are going to do, which is what your vet's going to do. They're going to be sticking their fingers in. Yeah, all these things. So. <laughs> You'll read on the internet, there's, there's people that say, as I said before, that, oh, you don't need to groom these dogs, they're self-cleaning and everything else. As I said, I mean, that's just idiotic, yeah? For show, we do it, and probably because you're going to show, but just for general health, for general maintenance of the dog, there's absolutely no drawbacks to it. Your dog gets used to being touched and handled, gives you the opportunity, if you're starting up as a kennel, to actually feel the structure of the dog, yeah? And it's very, very important. You see, as I said before, all the judges are feeling the dog. They're feeling the dog, because it's not just what you see, it's what you feel in the, that bone structure. Is it correct? Why isn't it correct? You, you start picking up differences, yeah? Um, and then on the health tick season, well, you're gonna pick up your ticks here. You're gonna find out if the dog's got ticks. If you don't brush it, you won't know until it falls on top of you. So there's no no reason. Now the hardest part of grooming is actually around the ears, because they can get a bit knotted. So very, very gentle around the ears and get that used to that. These are the sensitive spots. The ears. You know? Oh. So a bit of respect, just not pulling the ears, just pushing it to one side and get the brush in there. There's that good one. And as I say, with the teeth, we we'll start with the hand. So look at this. Beautiful teeth. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. So we'll be on to the next one. Your turn? Is it your turn? Yeah, I get you. You come on in. So we're back on the table with another one. Whoa, whoa. What's going on? Let's go. So on the table. Uh, Good. Good. And it shouldn't be a struggle. It really, really shouldn't. And that's the conditioning you're doing. Is it's not going to be a struggle if you get straight into it. Um, it's not training we're doing. It is conditioning and and getting to have a cheek of doing something. And if you don't follow up reasonably quick, all that conditioning, everything we're doing is a waste of time. The puppy test would be a waste of time as well. You have to follow up on it. Um, otherwise you'll be starting from scratch, yeah? And then it does become part and parcel of the nature of the dog, of what you're working with. So you can feel the structure here of the dog, get them up there, good, nice and tight there on the legs, can't get my fingers in there, nice and tight, which means we shouldn't have those loose elbows, which the mother actually has, she's a little bit loose. There. So that's the correction we're looking for, and I think we've got that in nice and tight. So. And again, with the ears, this is always the difficult bit, especially as they get older. So nice and gentle, show a bit of respect for the dog as you're doing it. There you go, there you go. We can on the chest there. So then we do the teeth again. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And this is what the vet's going to do if you're going to show, this is what the judge is going to do, so it's just practice. When you do it early, it's never going to be a problem. So anyway, that's the low, low litter.